going on Mark Crew? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. As you can see, we got all the toys behind me. And you're wondering, where's the Moto Vlog? Where's the GoPro? We're not doing that today. The reason for this is, everyone's asking me behind the camera. Non-subscribers are asking me. Random people who see me in these cars and on the bike ask me what do I do for a living and how do I afford this at 21 years old. And I tell them it's the sugar mama, you know, the sugar mamas take care of it. Chrysler, Audi, bike, Firebird, sugar mama take care of it. So with that being said, that's the end of the video. I'm kidding, it's not. Sugar mama's not the reason. I'm gonna go through all the cars first, tell you guys what it is, how hard I work, how I got to where I'm at now. And then after that, maybe at the end of the video, we'll all have a sound clip of both all of them revving. They're having a soccer game down there, so I don't, I don't think, I don't think that's a good idea. But we're still gonna do it. So if you guys are excited, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications on for all these videos that I'm posting, and let's get to it. This right here is my 2013 Chrysler 200S. I bought it since I sold the Taurus. You guys know what the Taurus is. The Taurus. My niece is in the car. She honked the horn. The Taurus was sold, I bought this. I like it better. The heat works, the heat in the uh, Taurus didn't work. I like it, sedans, everyone who knows me, sedans is my thing. I don't like SUVs, I don't like convertibles, I don't like any, you know, anything but sedans. It is what it is. I got it for a really good price, and uh, it's uh, the happiest daily, the best daily if I've ever had, and I have no complaints with it. I just like how the wheels look and everything. It's stock. It doesn't sound too good. It's, it sounds like a sedan. But with you know being Moto Mart, we got to do a little bit of straight pipage. These cars normally go around 12, 13, all the way up to $16,000. And I got it with 94,000 miles on it. And it's a 2017 leather everything. So around there is what I paid for it. And honestly, it's worth the 94,000 miles. I don't see any problems coming along with it. Right here is my 2005 Audi S4 making 400 horsepower to all four wheels, 450 uh, pounds of foot pounds of torque. Right, and I bought this about a year and a half almost two years ago. For I think I got this around 10 eleven thousand dollars, and it's the most it's my first sports slash muscle car. And honestly, it's the most beautiful thing. I can't, you know, I can't get over that engine bay. Look at it. I got these wheels. I forgot what they were called. I put them on there. The first set that I had on, I bent them and it was all, I rode on them with a flat. So I bought those. Convertible, red interior. And she sounds mean. She's straight piped from the, all the way to the rear mufflers taken off, to the mid mufflers taken off. This is the one that gets most attention. When I'm in this with the top down during the summer with the red interior, pops and crackles, it's tuned. That's why it's making 400 horsepower, it's, it's tuned. Everyone, ever, I, I went to a McDonald's drive through one time and it was like, oh, is that a six speed manual? I'm like, yeah, he goes, oh man, that's my dream car. I'm like, yeah, bro, it's beautiful. I offered him a ride, we went for a ride. He loved it, made his day, he gave me a free McChicken. So honestly, I don't know what else. I mean, that's the best day I've ever had. Most famous thing on the channel, a 2004 Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R cammed is the baddest thing and the most rarest eye candy you can think of. This thing is making close to 190 horsepower to the wheel and this is the bike that I take for all my motor vlogs and all my burnouts and all my rolling burnouts. and everything this is what you guys love and this is what made this YouTube channel start um, I picked that up for around five six thousand dollars has a little bit of mileage on it but it was well maintained I'm well maintaining it and honestly it's treating me well 
It has a 7 inch, st uh, inch stretch on it, if no one knew. It's 7 inch stretched and it's lowered in the front. And the, I, I would say in my opinion the Audi and the ZX-10R is what gets the most, you know, head turns and everyone, everyone just loves them. But you know, the famous ZX-10R really can't go wrong with it. I honestly might make a video with today with it. We know we'll see. We'll see. But that is that's what it is. And this is where I see myself growing on this YouTube channel with. That's the main thing. May, yeah, cars here and there. You know, jumping into lakes here and there, but that's what I'm most focused on. <laughs> Before I show you guys, before I show you guys this car, this car has been in the family for decades and decades, and uh, there's there's just so much memories with this car, and I'm I'm gonna start bringing it to the channel a lot more here in a little bit. Summer's coming up, so I'm gonna put it up. But this is my 1970 Firebird Ram Air 4. I just want you guys to look at this real quick. That's a 455 board over 60. 60 over has a comp racing cam, uh, cam in it. All new, you know, all new parts. We spent all summer fixing it up. We got better uh, head gaskets. We got better valve covers, better carburetor. That carburetor, look at that thing, right? And this is making, before we did all this, we took it to the drag strip. We took it all, everything. The fastest we had it run, was a 10-4 at 142 miles an hour down at Milan Dragway. We took it apart, we boarded it out 60 over, and now next summer, since winter's coming up, next summer we're gonna take it there and hopefully we start running low nines, maybe mid nines. Right here, this this car is, this, this is the most beautiful car I own. I don't even care, the ZX-10R, yeah I like it, the Audi, the 200, but this, oh yeah, it does got a custom exhaust too. Custom exhaust. We're gonna. We're. I'm gonna play all. I'm gonna have have my brother start all these cars. I'm gonna get a rear view. You know of what they sound like. All right. So everyone's asking me how. What do I do to afford this? What I do for a living? And you know I. I don't talk to anyone about it. But this is this is what we're gonna do. Right. So me at 21 years old, well background story, I've been working on cars for almost all my life. You know, me and my dad, we always worked on cars, we built motors and you know, we drag raced all this. He taught me everything, he taught me everything I know about a wrench and my dream job was to work at, work at Roush, at Roush or for Roush, right? And a dream came true one day and I got a call from Roush. Uh, if no one is familiar, it's Ford and Roush. It's, it's a different company, but it's deal is Ford a little bit. I started working there. I started saving my money. Every single check that I've got, I've saved it. I do side, you know, side hustles, fix cars for you know my friends. Uh, I coach uh, wrestling, so you know I got it's it's, it's different kind of incomes coming in from different places. Right, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say it. You know, I worked hard, I'm a very persistent person, and this is where I'm at today. I got three beautiful cars and one beautiful bike. I got a dirt bike at home, but that's not, you know, that's not important. But I'm, I'm blessed to say that I can have these things, and you know, as hard as I worked, I can say, you know, I deserve it. And so this is what it, this, this is what it looks like for me. And you know, there's been a lot of haters saying, oh, these aren't yours. That's daddy's money, this, this, this. No, with, with, without my parents, it, you know, this one, I, I, that's all I could do is thank them because they made me who I am today. And humble, humble beginnings, humble endings, everything. And I'm just, I, I just thank everyone. And, you know, thank myself for working as hard as I did. And so, without getting all that emotional stuff we got a little surprise show for you guys with the firebird you know and make sure you go smash that like button i'm gonna sit here wait you you smash that like button yet yeah okay cool 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 my man so then we're about to start 
after this exit out, we're about to hit the Firebird, and maybe if you can see over there, those tire marks, I don't know where those came from, but you know what they say about art, a little bit more won't hurt. You guys heard everything. You heard the Audi, the Firebird, the ZX-10R, the 200. The 200 needs some work, you know, but the, hey, don't, don't, don't hate me for that. But I appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys know how I afford these cars now. You guys know what I do for a living. You guys know more of a little backstory of Moto Mart now. If you guys like this, smash that like button. Please subscribe. Let's hit, we broke 300. Let's get it to 1,000. I know you guys got it. We got it, man. We can do it. I promise we can do it. I know. I know the Mart crew can do it. I believe in the Mart crew. I mess with you guys. I love all. I love all single one of you. If you guys are new to the Mart crew, stay shoe to the new shoes. Take it away.